We're broadcasting live from Stairway to Heaven Arena in downtown Purgatory. The crowd is going wild and partying like it's 1999. I think someone opened Pandora's box and all hell broke loose. Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers. The Carolina Panzers battle the Full Metal Mayhem. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. It's game day here on the MFL Network, and we are just about to get underway. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow, along with Brickhead Mulligan. Hi. Any thoughts on today's game? Uh, uh, hmm. uh, uh, no, not really. Kind of flatlining right now in the thoughts department. Uh, hey, can you help me get this pencil out of my ear? It's stuck worse than it was the last time. Yeah, you idiot. And it's first and ten. <laughs> There goes the ball. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, uh, going in circles. And they line up for the extra point. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. He's not going down. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. First and ten. Kaboom! And he can go all the way! With the vicious kill! Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwong Galaxy phone. First and ten. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. And it's 
first and ten. And he gets three yards on that run. Second down and seven. You gotta love a player who goes down fighting. And it's first and ten. Jimmy passes it for maybe a yard. They've got to open up the offense here, Bricks. Second down and nine. The quarterback bringing the ball to explode, and the defensive player got blown to bits. <laughs> position in football the mighty punter he boomed that one let's see if they can get a he's got the ball and he punched his way out of that tag oh devastating hit you ever get hit that hard bricks yep third grade sister mary margaret and our ladies of holy hell i thought it was brass knuckles but it was just a regular knuckles If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking. And the defense jumps upside trying. If he was still talking, he'd probably be saying, Psycho killer. Keska say, what the fuck the fuck the fuck? First and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot three. Oh, and he intercepts the ball. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? <laughs> First and ten. That run is good for nine yards. Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I got to see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I, I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. The offense has only two quarterbacks remaining on the roster. They better be careful because when those guys die, it's forfeit city. First down and seven. And that was a perfect pass, and he scores handily. All it ever is is alien, alien, alien. They took our job, they took our women, and now they're taking our excessive celebrations. Well, you can try to deport him if you want to, Junior. I personally don't want to be fed with 47,000 children. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It's good. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! <laughs> and 
it's first and ten. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend Matt. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what Navarre was? I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. Second down and ten. Running like a bull on steroids. That'll be a first down. And it's first and ten. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. And it's first and ten. And that's how you run the football. First down. The offense is losing quarterbacks faster than teams lose their minds at spring break. They're down to their last QB before they have to forfeit. And it's first and ten. Hot one. And he picks up about six on the play. And that'll be second down and four. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have looked. Is he dead? Uh, nah, he's still moving. Crap. And if you don't understand why refs are hated even more than kickers, <laughs> well, there's your answer, Bricks. <laughs> And it's first and ten. Defense had enough with this ref and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. The offense is pretty much unstoppable when they use their beast boost. And he rumbles into the end for the score. I hope he's not going to dance now. <laughs> well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. And that's another pick. Man, oh man, the defense is going to have more receptions than the. Oh, nice hit. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot three. Nice pickup for six yards. And that'll be second down and four. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Of course he... A man from prison just came out of the field. It's the ref, idiot. Oh. Let's see what the penalty is. Yes. 
And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. And another interception. This quarterback is going to listen to. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yelling. It's the end of the first quarter, and I just want to say that this is the ugliest thing I've ever seen. Other than my mother-in-law, of course, wearing that moo-moo. Is she going to dry clean that before she gives it back to me? Ah, another innocent. Oh, with a brutal hit. First down and six. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot eight. A pickup of about three on that play. The Full Metal Mayhem did a stage leap and no one caught them. They go home dead and lose by forfeit. It's probably a good thing the game ended up in forfeit. They weren't going to make it out of the stadium alive with this performance anyway. The fans were going to kill them if the opposition didn't. Gotta love that fan passion. Let's hear what the game's MVP has to say about this carnage. I'd rather listen to Sarah Palin read the entire works of Shakespeare while tripping my brains out. Uh, actually, that sounds kind of fun. <laughs> Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.